This is what every normal couple does on Saturday nights, right? Yes. <laughs> I feel very bad about that space. <laughs> What? I already opened up, so game on, bro. Okay. It was built in 1904 out of locally mined sandstone blocks that are three by four by five feet thick. The jail itself was in operation from 1904 until 2005 and it officially closed its doors in 2008. Everything that's in here is original up to when the jail shut down in 2008. But we had a couple really violent prisoners or inmates. We've had reports from back when the jail was actually in operation during the last administration. It was very active then, and um, they would say that at nighttime they would have to call emergency headcount because it would sound like there was something on the stairs, and they would go up there, nobody would be there. So blindfolded is incredibly intimidating because that's taking away one of my major senses that I see spirit with because, I mean, a lot of times the first thing I get is just seeing them standing there. So we're going to see how you do without your most... My strongest sense. sense. 
Before leaving, I burn incense and give an offering to the spirits. About 30 minutes before we arrive to a location, I listen to a song that I've associated with opening up psychically. This allows spirits to come in and start communicating. You know, this is my first night investigation. Mm -hmm. There's shit around here. There's shit around here. There's shit around here. There's just shit in the woods. The temperature's dropping too, it's getting colder. I already opened up, so game on, bro. It's getting close. I can tell. It's like there used to be a building there. Yeah, I'm looking at it, just a pile of rubble. I'm looking at it, just a pile of rubble. I'm looking at it, just a pile of rubble. And it's gonna be on our left. Right? Yes. Knew it. I can feel it. Feel the building. I know it's a building. I know it's on our left. I know it's tan. I know it's multiple stories. I'm like squinting my eyes like I can see it. I'm like, I sense you. We're still like building. two and a half miles I know. Away. So, I don't know. See, this place is weird because I just like can't connect. This is the furthest I've got is that we're closer to seeing the outside of the building. I just cannot get inside. It's like I'm locked out of the building. Like it's guarded or something. It's like, it's so weird because other locations I can get straight into them and half the time the spirits will come. And this one, it's got nothing. There is nothing coming from this one. It is completely like blocked off. We are two minutes away, so why don't you go ahead and put on your blindfold. Oh my god, you're slowing down already? It, it, yeah, the speed limit went down. I see a face. a lot of masculine energy. This doesn't necessarily mean all boys, but definitely masculine energy. Oh, I hate this. I never want to do a blindfold again. I never want to do a blindfold. Do you see it? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh my God, what does it look like? We're passing it right now. We're pa- You are literally 10 feet from the building. Great. What is happening? Well, in a second, I'm gonna go on a tour real quick so they can show me around just so I know where everything is located on the inside. Um, no. You're gonna sit here blindfolded for a bit. No. What? Um. <laughs> You're going to go on a tour. Yeah. And I'm going to sit in the car blindfolded in an area I haven't even seen. Yeah, it looks safe. I know your voice and you're lying to no, me. No, it genuinely does look safe. <laughs> it's okay. You're safe. Oh God. I'll give you a jacket over top of you. Okay, jacket. Do you want your jacket? Yeah, my jacket. Okay. Come here, best friend. <laughs> we will not let the mean man put blindfold you and take you to a place and make you sit in a car alone in the dark. All right, I'll be back. Okay. You can keep the keys. <sighs> Thanks. Bub? It's just me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll be back for you later. Okay. Like two, three hours tops. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See ya. Bye. And so we are alone. Can you see camera? 
I'm gonna laugh if I'm holding this backwards. We are alone. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hi, how are you doing? Doing good, how about you? Good. Good. So yeah, just kind of looking forward to seeing what y'all get. All right, well thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are going to get Birdie now. She is blindfolded and waiting on us. Hello. Oh I actually was not sure if that was your voice or not, and I got really <laughs> scared. Step out. Oh, this is so dark. Okay. So let's take a two steps to your right. Watch the curb. I'm just gonna close this door. You so, wanna unlock our car? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so be very careful. Hold my hand. Walk this way. There's a pole. Perfect. <laughs> Oh God, did you run into something? Yes, I did. I'm just trying to guide taking you. Taking the babyest steps. Yeah, oh, okay. oh, you're fine. Oh, this yeah, goes down. Incline, down climb. Okay. I mean, decline. A down climb. <laughs> okay, perfect. Two steps and stop. One, two. Okay. All right. This is what every normal couple does on Saturday nights, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna walk first through here. Walk straight. Walk oh, straight. There's another decline. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. I'm bad at this. Okay, you're gonna come with me. I'm gonna walk this way, keep walking. There's no step ups. There's an energy, I just. Whoa. Sorry. Are there rooms on both sides of me? Um, yeah. Honestly, I'm rather comfortable. Watch this step. It's a door jam. Yep, we got it. Over it. There you go. Well, that changed. Oh. This is a little different. I feel a little bit of anger at this point. Not okay. at us. Okay. But in the air. Just in general? Yeah, a little bit. People were upset at this point. Okay. This was not a good thing. Okay. Just not. I feel like I'm, I don't want to go. Okay. We're about to hit a step, okay? It's a big step. There you go. About six inch step, another one. All right, and then a step down a little bit. Okay. Okay, we are gonna go up a very narrow staircase, okay? Yeah. So you're gonna hear it. And there, each step is about six inches up. So the first one's right in front of you. Just go ahead and lift your foot. Okay, they're metal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Two more steps and then a landing step. Holy cow. We're gonna get our cardio today. One and two. One more, that's it. Okay, Oop. slip, you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm okay. Okay, I got you here. Okay, we're gonna walk forward. Okay, just keep, if you have any feelings, just. You know, I just feel like this was a normal way to come in. Right. Walking like this. <laughs> okay. Walk this way a little. There you go. We're going to go up a little bit and then it's going to level off. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to walk you into this room. You're just going to tell me if you feel anything at all. Every time we saw everything. Right. When we're walking, I start to feel stuff. We stop, and it's almost like everything's like, who's this? What are you doing? Right. Like, but like, it's just like a complete shut off of information. Hmm. That's super weird. It's almost like they're like shutting you out or, or like I hiding. I feel so shut out here. I've never felt this shut out as I do here. Okay. I feel nothing. Okay, I've got a blindfolded birdie. <laughs> Walk through here. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna turn. Follow me. Okay, we're gonna go into another room. 
So if you want to go ahead and just keep walking straight. Okay. 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 So you are now facing the inside of another room. How do you feel? How does it feel different? Feel. 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 Weird. In what way? Like a pressure in my head as soon as we walked in here. Okay. 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 Masculine energy. Okay. Okay, so spirits. <laughs> Hi. Uh, why I'm wearing a blindfold is because we're just trying to see if this will help me actually hear you better. Um, so you don't have to be weirded out by this. I'm okay. Nothing wrong is happening here. Um, we're just trying to experiment to be able to communicate better. We come with respect and just want to communicate and understand. Yeah, if you'd like to talk to us, uh, you're more than welcome to at this time uh, while we're here. Um, I just feel like I think there's a man here. He's not talking. Okay. He's white. Okay. Do you know anything else about him? Does he portray himself or um, do you see any other features? This is difficult because I'm trying to see. Right. Um, This one is the story of Jerome Boyett, and uh, just briefly with his story, um, he worked up at a coal camp in uh, Stearns, Kentucky. He was on his way back down here to Tennessee. He was riding the train. There ended up um, becoming a scuffle on the train. The train engineer pulled the train over, called the sheriff in the neighboring community of Pickett County. Uh, sheriff uh, Winningham and his son went to the scene. There became a uh, altercation between um, Jerome Boyd and Sheriff Winningham. They don't know who shot first, but during the, during the shootout, Sheriff Winningham and his son ended up getting killed. So Jerome went on the run and he was gone for a couple months. And while he was gone, they went to his dad's house in no business. His dad's name was Ransom, they called him Rance, and um, he wouldn't give him up. So they ended up stringing him up to a tree and Jerome finds out about it. So he comes back and turns himself in here at the jail. He's here at the jail for about eight days. He's up here on this third floor. And uh, on the eighth day, a mob of about 25 men comes in, they fake an illness. And so they come in, they end up beating the jailer like an anvil that night. As they come in, they take Jerome Boyd and they take Harvey Winchester. He was not involved with Jerome Boyd, but he was just kind of the wrong place, wrong time. Could have been his cellmate, I don't know. But um, we don't have a lot of research on him, but what we do know is he also killed two deputies. So essentially him and Jerome Boyd were cop killers. So they took him out. This article talks about just how brutally they were murdered. Took him out to the Rome State area, which is about a half mile from here. Tied uh, ropes around their necks, stripped them naked, started shooting at them, forcing them to run and pulling them back. So they brutally murdered them. I would say he's older than us. Um, Okay. A little bit of wrinkles. Uh, I don't know how old he is. Okay. I, I'm starting to get bad with age because now I feel like <laughs> we're not. I feel bad. Maybe 40s to 50s. Okay. Um, I can't specify that. Uh, he's not speaking to me again. Just an impression. Okay. Um, don't know if the head thing's with him. Uh, Yes. 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 <laughs> oh. Okay. If you're who I think you're talking about, then yes. 
You're on a, you're completely right. Okay. Oh, they're showing me something. Ooh. This is what I was saying. The blindfold's very interesting. I am seeing shapes and images. Oh, there's a flash of light. I see legs walking. Lots of legs walking. Okay. You're okay. You oh, okay? Yeah. Sorry, my knees. I feel like I should fall. I feel like I should fall. Okay. I feel like I'm watching these legs from the ground. Um, okay. Um, feel free to communicate using symbols. Um, that's a really good way that I can understand. Um, so if you have symbols, maybe that will help. I like the leg visual that's helping. I think he smiled and left. Okay. So I think, I'm not sure, hold on. Okay, take your time. We are not in a jail, are we? We are. <laughs> Very good, good job. This wall over here on this side, this is actually where we're highlighting the stories of our local officers who were killed in the line of duty. Um, as I said, we had uh, 13, 14 total, 13 tragic ones. And um, the individual up there on the top there, that is Sheriff Richard Ellis. He is one that we do. He is one that we do. He is one that we do. He is one that we do believe is here. He was actually killed at the front door. And so um, he was, in 1925, he was bringing in a moonshiner and uh, he was unlocking the front gate and he was shot ambush style from behind. Um, it's actually still one of Scott County's unsolved mysteries today, um, but they do believe that it was related to the moonshining industry because the neighboring police chief in Oneida was killed a couple days before him and he had ran on such a strong stance of abolishing moonshine that um, they had been warning him that he could end up getting killed if he proceeded with running for sheriff. Uh, he was a Baptist minister, and so, um, and, and as you can see from the picture, he was a very, very formidable man. He was known to, when he would go out to get moonshiners, they would come back slumped over his horse, was what they always said. So we believe, you know, with just kind of some of the way, some of the activity is that he's sort of here keeping an eye on the prisoners and he's keeping constant watch. Yeah, you know, I just don't feel that energy here. So, to elaborate on... Currently, not, and I'm saying not in the past, but I'm saying currently in this present moment. Okay, so the person um, that you're feeling earlier, are they the one that told you it was a jail, or are you just feeling the jail from just information you're getting? The legs I see were walking. I see them walking. Okay. In a hallway. But I was looking out like almost through bars. Okay. Um, okay. That makes total sense. Yeah. So I don't, I feel like I would be laying in this room. Maybe, I don't know, for near cells. Um, but just like, I don't know if this was like a common occurrence or if this yeah. is. They would be laying in this room. But I would like. Cool. They're just chilling, and I just feel like this is just one of those things you do. You just watch the people walk in. Yeah, no, you're completely on point. So. All right. You know, it, it doesn't feel very present mm -hmm. energy. Okay. Um, at least at this point. I'm not sure if that man is actively hunting. Or not. Okay. You know, I think it's important to say we're only here one night mm -hmm. at one time. So, you never know, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, but I don't feel unsafe. That's important. That's good. That's yeah. good to hear. Yeah. 
Okay. I think I'm ready to walk a little bit more. All right, sounds good. So I will take your hand. So we will stop in here and then turn around. Just tell me what you feel, if you feel anything, any energy, any impressions. You can ask questions. I just don't know. I'm trying to figure out if it's purely a male prison jail or not. Okay. I can't figure that out. Okay. It, it's just masculine energy, a lot of it. Okay. But that's not to say it's not female. It could just be more like, you know, people are on guard, a more masculine vibe. More, more like on guard, aggressive type of feeling? Yeah. Okay. okay. Anybody in here? Do you know what their uniforms look like? Everything just feels so gray. <laughs> okay. I just can't tell if they're dressed in gray. What? I'm so sorry. Just, I you're... just, everything's fucking gray. I know, yep. And... <sighs> That's all I get in this room is it's fucking gray. Okay. This way, but this way, and this way, someone's... Okay. Well... There is furniture in the room, too, just so you know. Okay. I just... There's something here... Mm -hmm. That all of a sudden, I didn't sense before. I'm trying to listen, like, I know I'm like tweaking my head funny. I'm just trying to no, you're fine. hear. I just thought, I thought I heard an airship, like something's, if there's like a place right there for something to like stand and hide. I almost felt like there was something there for a minute, but it's not there anymore. It's the, it's the air, you're okay. It's the air conditioning. Okay. I'm <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> you know. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling good with this room. Okay, perfect. Let's walk this oh. way. You okay? What do you feel? I almost felt like there was two people right here watching me. But I don't, you know. That makes complete sense. It's weird. Oh, my legs are shaking again. What is that with this place? My, what is that with this place? My, what is that with this place? My knees have never buckled. Right. Um. It's a very strange feeling. Um. You know, it's weird because it's almost like they're mannequins. Right. I just feel, or maybe it's like an impression. I just almost feel them there for a second and then they're gone. There's an eye. Ooh. There's an eye that I'm seeing. Okay. You're okay. We're going, it's just the floors uneven. Okay. We're going to the next room. We're kind of at the hill. It's kind of a, all right, you can stop. Stop him. Okay. So. It smells good in here. So we've actually, over the last little bit, we've actually had a lot of people getting phantom smells. It smells very floral. It does. The rest hasn't smelled as good as this place. So I don't know if that's just a quality to the people who take care of this, <laughs> or if this place, is, this area is a little bit nicer. This room feels brighter. 
Okay. In what way? Like emotionally or like physically? Okay. I don't know if that's more windows or it's just it feels a little bit brighter. Okay. I think that's just because of the smell. It right. smells like hospital, so... Yeah. You know the drill? <laughs> Escort me, love. Okay, I'm gonna walk out the door. We're gonna go back to the stairs. Your favorite part. Okay. All right, we are gonna walk straight through this doorway. We're going back to the metal grate. We're gonna go up three steps and then a landing. So... Oh, these staircases. One. I'm telling you, these staircases. People are just bad. Like, I think the worst energy would be in these staircases, right. these liminal spaces. Okay. Sorry, I've lost all balance. You're fine. Keep coming. Go ahead and turn. Uh-huh. Okay. Turn towards me. Are you okay? Just ambient cold? How are you feeling? I feel very claustrophobic. Okay. Don't like it up here. Okay. Yeah. I don't feel good up here. What do you feel? Ooh, I feel bad. This energy's stagnant. Okay. And there's just a lot. I feel like there's a lot of people in here at once. Mm -hmm. Um, more than the other rooms. Okay. So far, I feel like this is the most crowded. Third floor, it was added in 1922 as maximum security. Built to hold 50 inmates, but you could have up to 100 up here. Up until they got the tourism grant in 2017, they had this plexi covering the windows. But up until uh, 1961, when they added the new jail, the bar, they were actually exposed to the bars and the elements. So when the inmates were in here, it was very primitive up until they went to the new jail and were brought back. So um, this was a very uncomfortable situation. This room right here in particular was the uh, woman's cell. And so, we know that because they got a little more privacy. There's a person looking at me like this. Okay, but male or female? Again, I feel a lot of masculine energy. I, I can't see more than this portion of the face. Okay, just like eyes yeah, and nose. It's just this part. So based on those features, I can't tell. But I almost feel like they had auburn hair or red hair. Okay. Just like, like that. I don't know, it's very strange. I, feel, I just feel like people are standing much taller than me in here. Um, okay. I feel like there's something here. I don't know, it's a little uncomfortable. Okay. Can I keep moving? I still see a bunch of faces. One, two, three, three more faces. I feel it, I don't know if it's just impressions of people. I just feel like they're, oh, there's another one. Um, just a lot of energy. There's a lot in this space. Okay. Oh God, there's back of this, there's this weirdness here on me. Like back of head pressure. Okay. It's a little strange. Oh God. I don't know if this is an injury of someone or not. Or not. Or not. I can't tell. But it's right oh, at the base of the skull, like right here. Oh. I don't know. Okay. This, this one doesn't feel good. I feel like it was a little more tiny. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna walk this way. Oh. Oh. Somebody over here. There, oops, sorry. I can't see that. Step up. I didn't know there was a little step there. So I'm gonna let you stand right here. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of tell me how you feel. Come a little deeper. All right, stop there. Ew. How do you feel? I'm gonna come around you. I feel really good. What happened? Ew. I don't wanna stand right there. Okay. 
I feel very bad about that space. You're okay. Ah! You're okay, you're okay. Sorry, you're okay. I feel very bad up here. Okay. Um, mm, I feel bad. I feel, dude, I feel like I'm about to get grabbed. This feels it's violent. It's a very tight space. I feel violent. Okay. I just feel upset and angry. I can't, I feel very much like something doesn't want me there. And again, I'm not saying this place is bad. I'm not saying there's evil spirits. Um, I'm just saying like the energy there feels like I should just like be beat down. Okay. <laughs> and I just, I just, I'm in the wrong place. I'm not supposed to be there. All of these cells open, except for this one. And uh, as you can see, we got a very sizable newspaper donation. Um, the goal toward, uh, as we go through these is to have newspapers all along the jailer's walk, up and down the stairs. This is pretty much every newspaper here from about 1950 to 2012. So this is the only one you can't go in. But as for the third floor, we've got three of these bullpen areas, um, a total of eight different cells. But the inmates here, they were left in these cells for up to 20, 22 to 23 hours. Um, up until they put the yard in back there, which was in 2000, this was their time, their freedom time. The jailer's walk, it runs along the outside there. It actually runs from that door all the way around to the fire escape or the back of the, of the women's cell there. But the jailer would make his rounds through there. We do have reports of the very last jailer who was here. He said that he was actually chased off of this floor by a shadow figure. Is that it for this floor? Yeah, no, it's not. No? We need to keep moving. Fucking hell. Ugh. Here, we'll leave this area. So walk straight, yeah, this way a little just, more. This is really uncomfortable. Okay. Understand. It just shouldn't be in there. Okay. So we're actually gonna come back this way. <sighs> Don't like having my back to that area. I understand. I feel very watched. Okay. Lots of, I see you, I know. All right, so we're gonna come down this way here. Another tight space. Tight, tight space. Squeezing. Okay. The first cell there is uh, the administrative segregation. Um, these other two, they tend to really like um, the females to be by themselves, um, especially that last cell. That makes sense. God damn. No, don't lock it. I feel very scared. Okay. Not me. Not for myself. I don't you. I'm sorry people have ever been in these conditions. I just feel so caged. It's really gross. We have hit all of the major rooms and we are finished with your blind fold time. Okay, um, I will share before I take it off okay. anything. I got in the car. Um, I got that this is from sorry. around the 19... Hundreds. I was getting like 1900, 1907-ish, um, early, like the first teens. You're correct, yeah. Um, it was built in 1904. And then I keep in the car, not in here, I kept getting this guy. I hear footsteps. I walked them. Yeah. I hear footsteps. Okay. I'm in a motherfucking haunted building. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ah, of course. I would like to leave this floor. Okay. So we are going to walk back down. At least you can get down these steps now. So that was the third floor. I was here tapping. I do too. Here, you can go down first. I'll follow you. Do you want to go back to the first floor? We can go back to base camp. Base camp. So you walked through all this. Oh 
um, base camp through there. Yes. Yeah, then over to your left, you walk in through there. So this is base camp here. Mannequins. Oh, wow. I <laughs> didn't even see that earlier. That's hysterical. With auburn hair. Wow, look at that. That's really funny. I didn't see that that's earlier. That's so, that's exactly, I will show the camera. I saw like this view of it. Exactly. That's so funny. That's really funny. That's weird. Break to unload gear yep. and get it into base cam. That's good. So now that we've done your blind walkthrough. We're going to compare notes. Okay. And I think in the car we got where I said I felt like there was like a J thing. Yeah, a G, like a G. G. That sound, yeah. Um, I tried to get more close to that and mm. I was getting like a J. So okay. I ended up writing down like George. I was just editing the episode for the jail. And I was doing some research on uh, Sheriff Richard Ellis. Guess what the name of the person who he had slung over the back of his horse was? George. Can you believe that? Can you believe He was bringing in a guy named George Foster. Does anybody's name start with a G? So in terms of people I was getting, there was two prominent ones. There was a guy who really stood out with this thin nose. Okay. I think it's really hard to tell features. I know people are like, oh, what do spirits look like? And honestly, it's like if you look at smoke and you try to see something. Right. But the most thing, like if something's like pushing through like a sheet or something, the most prominent thing was this very thin, okay. thin nose. Could you tell like a, an age range or guy, girl? Guy. Okay. Um. Don't feel like super old. Okay. Um, probably closer to our age. Okay. Um, but him, and then there was the other one. Who, we had, ugh, that back of the skull pain. Mm -hmm. He was just a good type of feeling. Right. Not a bad feeling. Was not scary okay. type of feeling with that one. Um. And then, what else did I say about him? You mentioned um, he was in... Was that his age? You mentioned his age. That was the... Um, you said the, the like, like, 40s, 50s. Yeah. You mentioned his age. You mentioned the head pain. Yeah. Um, you mentioned... Oh, it's right here. Yeah. I can still feel it a little bit. Yeah. Honestly. And so, um, that super correlates. Um, Good. So, <laughs> that correlates to... <laughs> That correlates to uh, Sheriff Richard Ellis. He was... Um... <laughs> you got some goosebumps there. I do. He was the sheriff in, and in uh, 1925, he was super heavily like against all the moonshiners. And... Moonshiners? Oh my God, this is not on camera. I told you when we were coming here about I felt like there was like Wild Willie with the oh, Moonshine yeah. Gang. Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> I didn't even film it because I didn't think this was like legit. Yeah. And yeah, I obviously I Wild Willie is not a, right, a right, guy right, right. that I'm. I'm just saying he was. He looked like the guy, the like illustration on the gem mining places, mm. where it's like I'm just the good old Moonshiner. Right, 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 right. Woo! Like that's so funny. He was after. Oh, I so wish I said that on those. camera. Damn. He was he was majorly against that. Yeah. And he was actually hauling one in one day and um, someone came up behind him with a shotgun and shot him in the back of the head. Oh my god. And he died. Um, right outside out front. He was out front of the jail. Ooh. Um, so he passed away and um, they don't know who did it. It's still an unsolved mystery. And this happened in nineteen twenty five. Gotta catch you, motherfucker. So the slim face, no, the slim nose guy slim. that was younger. Oh yeah, I drew him like this. <clears throat> yeah, his name was actually Jerome, and they strung him up, they lynched him, they tortured him, and they uh, shot them full of bullets. And they found their bodies a few days later, uh, naked and riddled with bullet holes. Wow. 
And that was found about a mile down the road. Is there a river over here? There's a river behind this place, if we're in the jail. There's like a little little creek. Okay. I'm talking about a little creek. Right out there. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. You. This is happening right now. Little creek out back. Okay. Is there a little creek out back? There might be. I do not okay. know. Talk about a little creek out back. Sorry. So. I wonder well, if that has anything to do with this story. Mm -hmm. I started freaking out up there. Up there. Yeah. And like I said, it wasn't my fear. I wasn't the one freaking out, but I was like, <laughs> oh my God. So, well, yeah, I bet you that was fearful because he put himself, he turned himself in to prevent all that. Mm -hmm. And he was 22 years old. So you got the young, correct? Young. I did a drawing mm -hmm. of the closest I could get to Sheriff. Okay. Oh my God, I seen the Sheriff's badge. Yes, that's what I was saying. You're no, right I did not. Did I see that with him? Yes. No fucking way. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you said I see the sheriff's badge, and I was like, <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. You said, that's I what just you were describing. clicked. Yeah. You know, it's really hard to recall what you're doing in the moment mm -hmm. when you're like actively channeling. Mm -hmm. I have like very poor memory recall afterwards, but I just remember. Okay, so I drew what I, at the closest I could get of him. Okay. Would you like to see it? Yes, please. Okay. So this is as close as I could. I couldn't get his jaws very specific. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I have a lot of lines around here as I was trying to shape it. It's very chiseled. like chiseled. I could not. It's not a round face. It's a very conkadonk like conkadonk. A conkadonk. <laughs> you know. Again, this is my closest bit. I am not. I am not the best artist in the world. I, I do think his face needs more chiseled if I could accurately do that on here. So I will show you um, a picture that I found of him. Okay. It says here. Oh. That could be him. Pretty close. And, and there's then a these, younger photo like, of him as well. These lines here, mm -hmm. the jowls happening. And then this here is Jerome Boyette. Oh. Your angular face, wow. thin, thick nose, man. Yeah. Very slim. And I'll show Jerome. So good job. Thanks. You did really, really well. Wow. You know, and I, <laughs> I said I was like so blocked with this location because normally mm -hmm. I can like start reading before we get here. It's a fucking jail. Mm hmm You were blocked out of the jail. Yeah. How, so appropriate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Well, time to go. Uh, Use some questionable equipment. <laughs> See if we can document anything. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Okay. I guess I'll follow you. I walked. Okay. Oh, or do you want I me? I walked first. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let me get my GoPro out because this next level has light. That goes to my yard. Do you want to see out there? Sure. What is that? Oh, that's water. It sounds like water. Yes, it does. That's a creek. It sounds like there is a creek does. back behind here. Interesting. Well, they could hear it while they were out here. They, and if it was open window, they could hear it inside too. Yep. Hey, it's tan. Yeah, They're sandstone walls. Sandstone. They were all dyed from this area. <gasps> wow. Wow. Oh. Are you touching me? There's a big fly on you. Okay. He landed on you. I was like, you're either swatting at me or I'm getting hit. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow, look at those eyes. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen, I didn't want to say it. I've seen demon faces. What is that? The Chris Sexton's devil. I've seen that, I swear to God. I swear to fucking God. It's some sort of idol. They dug it up, it weighs about 500 pounds. And they think it was worshipped. I didn't want to say it. I swear, I swear on my life. I swear on everything. I've fucking seen these devilish faces. And I was like, Bertie, calm down.
down. It was like you're freaking out. There's no devils here. And what did I, what did I fucking tell you in our house that I said, you know, the only thing I feel about that place is this little devil-y imp thing. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you said. I said there was this weird devil imp. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. I should have said it. Damn it. Encountered on the investigation was really curious. I had actually encountered the imp in our house uh, the day prior to the investigation, and I wasn't quite sure if it was connected to the location. I thought it could perhaps have been, but of course, I wasn't really sure, and I didn't want to bring up the fact that I thought there was an imp. So imps are both claimed to be fae and demonic in lore, so they aren't demons, um, but they aren't quite fairies. They are very mischievous in nature, they aren't harmful, and as you can see, the imp at uh, Scott County Jail only giggled at me for being so flustered over forgetting some information. The devil that was on the wall that was associated when the imp was laughing at me is the Cruz Sexton Devil, which is named after Cruz Sexton, who was a soldier. He was deployed in China and he was inspired by all the large statues he's seen. So when he came home, he started building a giant statue in the caves with clay. His mom followed him into the caves one day and saw that he was building a devil and was quite scared. Rumors had spread that the devil had come to Scott County. Now, people thought this devil was legit the devil. They did not realize it was his statue. So people started traveling all around to come see the devil. And Cruz Sexton actually started charging to see the devil. He eventually sold the statue, which got sold to the World's Fair. And currently, it is missing. So nobody knows who owns it or if it has crumbled over time. But I think the imp perhaps could have been connected. Maybe he was in the mines. Maybe he's followed the lore of the statue and enjoyed the jail. Or perhaps he was just a passing through spirit who quite enjoyed me flopping over not sharing the information that I had saw the imp and devilish faces. So. We can't really be sure, but I actually did not mind the imp. I thought it was quite funny watching back, and I do not think it's harmful or malevolent in any way. I think it was just having fun and a little mischievous. Okay, baseline reading of this room. About 47 degrees in here. That is the room you picked up the sheriff in. And the funny thing oh. part is, is you started picking up more when you stood on that vent. What? I, I looked at it while you were talking, because you walked in and you were walking, and then you were standing on the vent. I did that by myself? Like, you were standing here, and you kept walking in a little bit more, and you like stopped when you put your foot like this. And then this is when you started getting, like talking and everything. I don't know where that goes. That's... It's, it's a dream to some So weird. It's like I tapped into the organ of the place. Yeah. Baseline reading. 49, 48, 48 degrees, about the same, 47, 48. And then this room here. 50 in here. A little warmer. Yeah, it does feel a little warmer in here, actually. I want to start with saying that you have the SLS, which is there. Okay, I'm going to take the glass off. Okay. Which is handmade by yours truly.
if I reach towards it, it'll light up. But I have to touch the antenna or get really close to the antenna. So if anybody wants to touch the antenna or step into the frame of our camera right here or this one right here. So um, we can play a game. I am a girl. That's true. <laughs> Do you want to play? Sure. I'm a boy. That's true. So if it's true, go ahead and touch the little antenna. Is there someone here with us? I just keep feeling like I'm going to see someone walk past the hallway. I know I do too. Is there anyone still here in this room? Is there someone out there? Can you tell us your name? My name's Robert. If you just bang, can you bang again? I saw a white mist. Watch this cord. I can't tell where it's coming from. Are you in here? Oh, it's so cold in here. It is so cold in here. Yeah. Feels colder than earlier though. It's 51 around you. 
Oh, I can feel it. The whole room's 53, and around you is 51. Oh, God, I'm like ice cold. Yeah, I believe you. Jeez. Oh, I keep getting like, I don't know if it'll focus. I keep getting chills. Like just out of the temperature. I'm not like afraid or anything. It's not like those like fear chills, you know? Just so we don't trip. Yeah. Is there anyone in this one? Those clinked. That could have been it. I'm thinking we should leave this here. Okay. Okay, so zoom four. And that is rolling at 11.38 p.m. Okay. All right, we All right. will be right back. Recording, cool. So we just heard the shutter go off on this. Shutter release was disabled. Recharge battery. Shutter release? I've, I've had this camera since 2015 and I've never seen that. And it's flashing with an error. Maybe, this has never had an error. Maybe we'll swap the battery out of it and see. Okay. Super strange. Okay, fresh charged battery. Okay. Okay. We see it has a full battery. Really strange. Did it work? Yeah. No battery worked. Okay, so the battery will drain right there. And about, because we were gone for what? What, 10 minutes? It had 60% battery. It was two-thirds battery when I just checked it when we put it in. And it was full when we, we just put it gone. in. That was quick. Maybe not paranormal. Maybe Still paranormal. Interesting. It was weird. It went out when we were standing here though. Like we both heard it shut like shutter go click like a camera. So that's weird. Alright. So we will set this down. It's blank right now. We will set that down and not shake it like a Polaroid picture because you're not supposed to. Yeah, that's a misconception. Okay, so we will stop. When you said my name's Robin, I just like 
He touched the table. Yeah, you touched the table. It's okay. It's gone now. That was a really weird, sudden wave of nausea. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Where's the camera go? Whoa. What? Camera's right there. I just got completely turned around. <laughs> it's very confusing. That was weird. Okay, so this is still going. Okay. Do you want to take that in there? Into this one? Yeah, which one? I'm, I'm just... This one. Since I got sick, I'm completely lost right now. Okay. I feel like I haven't even been in here before. I like just, Yeah. I feel like I haven't been here before. Just I'm, disoriented? This is all backwards now. I swear to God. Weird. What was that, from up? It's a bang up above. Okay. So I'm like it almost sounded like a bang, like someone saying like be quiet, like doof. Yeah. Like an apartment, like stomp yeah. on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it feels weird in here. Yeah. What is that? Around the side. I have no idea. There's is there a door there? Like a let's go look. Maybe it's reflecting off of one of the fridges? Maybe. Cause I took it from like right here. It what? could be off of that. You know, when we were in here earlier, I thought I seen something on this wall. I, I took it from like here though. Okay. Weird. Here, let's, let's take another. Okay. Cause that could be a printing error. Yeah. All right, um, you wanna shut that up? Okay, so we'll give that another few minutes and then we'll take it from back. Oh, Jesus. What? Someone was just standing next to me for half a second. What? Oh, oh. What? Oh, God. What? There was just. Look at my arms. <sighs> that what? was a jump scare. Okay. Someone was just standing directly next to me and they. Oh, I can feel the goosebumps in my beard. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah, no, I I mean, you can see the goosebumps on my arm still. Holy like, shit, you I don't, don't get goosebumps, goosebumps easily. No. Okay, someone was, literally, I turned around and I thought I almost ran into somebody. And they were just like, pure white for a split second. Oh, okay, that startled me. I'm not afraid of it, but I startle very easily. So, if you want to show yourself, just kind of show yourself. Don't just appear in front of me, please. <laughs> Whew, okay. Wow, have you? Oh, When's the last time you've seen? I'm going to. I can't hear him right up here. I've got nothing. It's just ringing. Turn on, turn on the recorder. You do this. There's something going on with you. Okay. I'm gonna back up. Get, get in the center of the room. Where this can see you. Okay. Step forward a little. Okay. Okay, recording. So I've just seen something appear in front of me, or someone, and then I just went completely deaf in my right ear. Are you trying to talk to me? It's 12.21. So when I go deaf in my ear, that's typically me something trying to talk to me. Or I'm hearing something that's not actually there. Can you tell me who I just saw? Were you trying to show yourself to me? There's something in front of you. It's like shorter than you. Yeah. Yeah, like right there. Yeah. I feel like there's like someone behind me too. Taller than me behind you? Yeah. Yeah, I it's see it. Man. Yes, it's dark. Dark yeah. shadow. I can feel it. I can see it. There's something over by. There's something just moved on that bed. Up by the Polaroid. Okay. Pausing recording session. It's on both sides on that one. What's the weird reflection? Maybe it's the uh lamp coming back off of the Maybe 
was just like those stainless steel fridges like reflecting the flash immediately back at me because it's on the opposite side yeah so if it was but it's like i got less of if you look here i got uh -huh. this and then i got less of it there yeah. i angled more towards and it's like so now there's nothing metallic in this one what's shining through i don't know This is what we do. Investigate. Temp check for the room. 52. That air sounds creepy. What was captured here was a significant chain of events. In the other cell room, we were setting up our SLS to be positioned into the hallway. Robert directed me to move the REM pod, at which point I felt like I was not allowed to approach it and retreat it. Instead, I moved the SLS to aim it that way, and we captured our one and only figure throughout almost five hours of recording on the SLS. The figure was directly interacting with the REM pod and was small, roughly a foot tall. Robert went to approach the figure as I filmed the SLS with an additional camera, and the figure immediately vanished. We went to review our footage immediately and realized that the SLS had deleted it. We also found out at the time of reviewing the footage now that my camera also malfunctioned once in the entire night and also did not record the figure. We're setting up the floor, right? Yes. It stopped recording? Yeah. How is start recording? How you have to click that button to stop it. How is that possible? I use OBS all the time. You have to press that button. I'm aware. How long? I'm gonna see how long the video clip was then. You know, I kind of thought like electronic malfunctions were like bullshit, but we're seeming to have a lot. Oh my god. It just, it, it stopped. It never recorded. It never started. You watched me hit start record. Oh my god, that's hours. Yeah. It just SLS is nothing. Wow. So we we don't know if that thing was there. No. I mean, you got it on this, did you not? No, we even got something. All right. Well. well, should we leave it here and try again? And just leave it and let go. I don't know. Harley says leave it and let go. We won't be on the floor, so if anything moves. Yeah, that's, you anything. that's true. Okay, let's. Leave it here. I just it did capture the one thing. Huh? It did capture that huh? thing. So maybe should we leave the REM pod and the SLS going here just in case it comes yeah, back? Yeah, we will. We'll do that. Okay. Okay. So look, start recording. It's starting. Okay. Yeah. It says it's starting. We'll go and open this here. So it, it's still recording. And now we're gonna walk away from it and leave it like it is. I just want to make sure that that's still in the same spot, yeah? Okay, so that, I mean, is recording. Okay. So, if you do want to try and play with the REM pod again, that little box on the floor with the antenna, you're more than welcome to. You. Sorry, there's a dust in the air. Yeah. It was a big dust. I will shut off this light behind me. Do you, do you want any lights on down here? Um, I can leave this hall light on. This hall light on. This hall light on. Yeah, just so. It's not that light. It is one of these. Ooh, I almost fell. Oh, and I'm up against the wall. Oh. You okay? Sometimes I'm holding you. I just don't fall. I, I'm starting to feel like I can't walk. Getting really off. I have a slight feeling like 
my cap here when we were up here when we were leaving. Was this where my knees started wobbling? Uh, I think potentially. I have to go back and look. It's just weird leg stuff here, like I said. Yeah. Okay. That is... About to die. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to have to run out. That is a brand new battery. We just put that in before the shutter thing. This is going to drain oh, okay, real quick. True. Okay, we have to go grab another battery then. <sighs> okay. Unless you want to stay here. Nope. Robert. This guy's name here is Robert. It got really sick when you mentioned, when you said, my name's Robert. Oh, wow. I started getting nauseous. This is all about him. He murdered his wife and was here for seven years. Oh, wow. I wonder if that has any... Weird. Okay. Because after you said that, I got so sick. I got hit with nausea. I wonder if that correlates. Because I mean, he did murder her. Yeah. Shot her in the head with a pistol. Jeez. Okay. All right, well, I got three batteries. So we can run back up. I mean, that could definitely be that. Yeah. Energy shift. Where would you like to set our stuff down? We have the one that you felt uncomfortable in, the one that you felt uncomfortable in, or the ones down there that you felt uncomfortable in. Oh, let's go for the one I felt uncomfortable in. You can go in there, I'm pretty sure. Did they write, is this from prisoners? Yeah. They didn't paint over those. Wow. They're all about God. They're all very religious. That's interesting. Yeah. What? Nothing. Thought something touched my back. Okay, we should put something in here. This was women's. I don't like that. What? This little hiding hole. Well, this was to give privacy to the women when they showered or when they went to the bathroom. Oh, that's creepy. It looks like someone grabbed that right there. Grabbed what? In the dust. What? I wonder if that's a person who grabbed that. Is it fingerprints? Do we want to switch positions since it's been there for a while? Yeah, we can. Where would you like to? Um, maybe we should put it down in the back of the hole? Sure. And place it into the one of the rooms? Yeah. Is this someone? Yeah. Okay. Freaking me out, kid. It's very easy to see things in the dark. And it's when the screen's so small too, it's so easy to see like. Where would we like to do a spirit box session? Well, we can do one in the front room here. Because I feel like you had a lot of you said you felt a lot of crowding in there, like a lot of like that was where you were saying was like the like like tough person. Yeah. So they might want to talk. The women were trying to be more tough. Mm -hmm. That might be a good place to start. You know, we can kind of bounce around. Okay. Okay. After you. Thanks. I wish I could. I wish I could. Should I lock us in? Are you kidding Just me? Just close the door. That's rude. Why is it rude? To them. Oh no, I wouldn't pay for that, just so we could I mean, not if, contaminate, but... If you want to, you can. No, I don't want to be. I don't want to feel like we're locked in there. So I guess we'll just kind of sit. Okay. 
Can right. I just say, I keep seeing white wispies, almost like incense smoke. Interesting. But they're white and wispy. That's very interesting. Very smoke-like. Mm -hmm. So this is our S -box. S box. Sorry, I think with the whole SLS conundrum, I'm just so baffled. Um, so this is a uh, rapid frequency scanner, scanner essentially. Radio. Yes. <laughs> Radio scanner. Um, we have removed completely the antenna. And then this bag here is uh, considered a Faraday cage. So when I close this, external signal cannot get to the S box. So we're right. not picking up radio. So where other people may have the radio noises mm -hmm. coming through, this will have nothing but white noise. Yes. And if a voice comes through, that then should means, not be able to it happen. Should not be from the radio because it's completely guarded. Right. It's in a cage. Right. Oh my gosh. This this is how Bernie's headphones always look. <laughs> Anytime I find your headphones. Well then just... let's just do it out loud first. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Mm. So let me turn it on. Check box. Danny. Playback. Make sure you record. Playback. Danny. FM. Playback. Danny. That's never happened. Playback. That's never happened. How is our S box broken? Try one last time. That's so weird. That's never happened before. Never. Okay. I'm gonna put this in this very page. equipment has been tested several times we've before used we the, come here. We've used that before. We have used this several times. We've used it in the Faraday cage. Yes. I just seen I just seen a white light go behind there. I just seen it go up and over behind there. It okay. was like an orb. I swear to God. It went whoop and went right behind the stall. Okay. What? Nothing. I'm not even kidding. I told you someone's behind there. Oh, I just noticed the weird painting. Yeah, I seen that earlier. There's something in here. There's something on the bed right there. Okay. Okay. I'm not feeling S-A-F-E. Okay. Maybe we've annoyed with that thing screaming, scanning a million times. Yeah, I apologize for that. Yeah, we that was a technical malfunction. We don't know why that's happening. It could just be like everything else with our equipment this time. For some reason, it's just all on the fritz. Yeah. And I'm not quite sure why. What? What? I just noticed I was on its head. Over on the corner. What? I swore, like, out of that shower right there. I swore I just seen someone lean out from like right there. Okay. Um I can take one more photo. Ooh, it feels weird over here. I would like Ooh, I can feel the hair on my lower. I can also. That is strange. You see the flashes? 
Um, I think that may have been a dust in the flashlight that scared okay. me. Alright. Should we retreat to second floor for a bit? Sure. Take a breather. Um, I'll check on that to see okay. real quick. If it's recording. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll reposition it over in this one. Yeah, or maybe look down the hall this way. Yeah, sure. Either, Either way. way. Or put it in the girls' room. Mm, that's probably a good one. Yeah. Especially with all the activity we're getting right now. Yeah. Just because, I mean, obviously we don't... Obvi Me. No, there was something no. I thought I seen. I honestly feel like I should be going over Yeah. Okay, so we are going to... Okay? I tripped. <laughs> Is that recording? Yes, it's recording. Okay. I need to swap out my GoPro batteries in place. Okay. Does that mean we have to go back down to base? No, just a second more. Okay. I think we got something. We need to go verify if there's that mark there that's a j it's it's different in each one that's an s and that's a j and look there's something in the window in that one yeah it's an s and a j okay polaroid's going back up to that one um i might check the sls just gets um, eerily quiet. Like there should be some sort of noise and there's just nothing. Right. Like I mean even normal like creaks and... Make sure it's still recording. Yep. Okay, perfect. Should we reposition this for maybe the kitchen, I think is another? Sure, yeah, let me check the area. There's nothing mapping. It's not mapping the um, REM pod. It maps you perfectly when you stand there, which means it was seeing something. It's recording, I'm not crazy. It's hard to breathe up here. Yes. It's heavier. It's like annoyed almost feeling. Annoyance isn't there. Look at it. What is it doing? The light's coming in now. We need to take one more Polaroid to debunk. Okay. Will you come? Yeah, I'll come. I'm just gonna move this for a second. Okay, uh, sure. Do you see that? But the flashlight wasn't on. Oh. Was it from the flash? But that's not the same. Here, no. can I have this? Yeah. Why is this on? You see, it's like. Is it like oh. a window reflection? It's on the wall. Okay, good to know. Okay, debunked. Good. But it was. A, there was another stripe from it. That could have been a reflection from the wall, from the window. From a reflect, from a yeah. flash. Yeah. Okay. A de debunkaroonie. What? No, I'm just like, okay. there's a little devil thing in there. Oh, boy. That's strange. Peeking out from behind. Yeah. 
I thought I just seen something peek out of that door on the left. Weird. From the bottom. That's super strange because I'm not lying to you. I thought I saw something happen the same thing on the right side. But I didn't have the camera on it. I didn't have the camera on it. Okay, that's strange. I guess maybe I should point it into this side. Oh. Maybe I flinched a little bit. I thought I, I thought I'd seen something. Interesting. Okay, so maybe I should put it in this room? Yeah. What are you focusing on? <laughs> what? It's like focusing on something there. Yeah. It's like focused. I tried to go up there for a second. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Is it down the hall or downstairs? Hello? Are you walking? Water dropping. Have a look. Moving as one unit. <laughs> yeah, flashlight. Thank you. Yeah. It definitely sounds like dripping. Yeah. It's, it's too steady. There's a lot of cells. It's gotta be. It's gotta be dripping something. Yeah. Because it's too steady. It's, yeah. it's perfect. Okay. Well. I guess we can try an EVP sesh. Yeah, sure. Up here, maybe in that room, sure. since we have a camera set up. And then after that, and then after that, and then after that, Is there anybody up here in these cells? We're just coming to talk. That's me. How long you been in here for?
Are you making Birdie feel dizzy? You notice whenever we start anything, it, it is dead silent. silent. So silent to where the water drips off. Mm -hmm. Everything stops. Whenever we start recording, mm -hmm. it falls to complete stillness. like was happening earlier mm -hmm. when I walked through. Oh, it just got real cold. Did you just walk in the room? My camera just died. The IR is dead for sure. The IR is out. Yeah. Is the IR on? Okay, IR is done. The IR is dead. Yeah. IR is done. Okay. Whenever we start shot. Mm -hmm. it falls. <gasps> the IR light just turned on. What? Yes, it's in. IR's back. I thought I turned it to off. Maybe I left it on. Oh, it's completely out. It's on half right now. What is going on? I don't know. Like, all of our equipment is on fritz. And right after I got cold, it dropped out the first time. Yeah. I got cold. You asked if something yeah. walked in the room and the camera died. No responses. No. It's just messing with the equipment. This is the weirdest place. It's just, no matter what's happened, like, okay, so... The SLS stopped recording. Yeah. The S box is completely toast. The IR light just decided to turn itself off and then turn itself back on. And was that doing camera, a weird blinky thing. That, it all it just shut it's off. off again. It just shut off. Can't you turn the IR light back on? Seriously, let's play. Turn it on in three, two, one. If something's up here, can you turn that light back on? Here's something. There's a movement. I thought that movement was back in the female cell. It's echo so strange. It does. Yeah, the IR just completely off. Yep. So many strange stuff. Strange stuff. Like, okay, so all the sounds I feel like I'm hearing are like, I don't want to say. I'm like, I'm not saying they're outside, but they're almost like atmospheric. Like, I understand what you mean. Like, it's like, I feel like, okay, I'm not one to hear airships, but like, even when their air's off, I just feel like it's like a, mm -hmm. like, like, you almost just hear the like, change of direction. And I don't know if that's like... It's dropping. Yeah, it's getting cold. Oh, I'm, I am, I have lost all body temperature. I see you shaking. Yeah. Let's turn you this way for a moment. See if I can get this going again. I'm going to leave this camera up here, so maybe we want to walk across the hallway, or talk into it, or hear you. Or see you. <laughs> yeah.
evidence. My skeletons are kickboxing. I know. Beat them up, beat them up. The energy's changed. <gasps> yeah. It feels light again. It's light, I agree. It's because we're not out there. I don't know. Or because we're leaving. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Good night. Thanks for letting us visit up here. I feel like your freaking psychic new abilities are the only thing that can be clutch here. I feel like evidence wise, it was so slow and quiet. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm interested to see if when we go home and review the footage, if we've got anything. But ultimately, um, I, I think that's why I'm glad we're doing both. Mm -hmm. Because what if one time I get nothing and yeah, the evidence is off the chart? Yeah. But we also have to take into consideration that we don't know if spirits can utilize this. Right. We don't, we've seen, you know, there was something the Xbox was mapping right. on it and this wasn't going off. So it could have been an error with the Xbox because that we also don't know if it can actually see spirits. So none of this stuff is proven. It's all experimental. And see if it works. right. So it's interesting. Now it would be more compelling if the S box captured that and then this was also going off. But I mean, we still can't disregard it because ultimately we don't know. Right. So that's where we're really at at the end of the day is we, we don't know. You're a very clear audience, though. It's just so mumble. It's almost like... Okay, so it's almost like... I can hear things through the sound that we're making. Uh -huh. So like when we're making a sound, I hear something almost overlaying our, our like sound. Right. Like the more we talk, the more I can hear like in between it. Well, that's that's like your clear audience. That's your little right. slick power. We're gonna have to test the uh, white noise then, maybe one time, because every time we're talking, it's just it's not that I can prove. So. I thought I just heard a woman go. Oh. That's behind what I'm us. It's like every time we're speaking, it's like at the same time. I swear to God, right then when we started speaking, I thought I heard out there. Oh. Right. Or while we were talking outside, I heard the hang on. So if I keep talking, are we gonna keep hearing things? Making all the noise. Noise, noise, noise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know either. This place is mysterious. It is. It's very strange. All right, that is our first location wrapped. Good night, Scott County Jail. Bye.